Hello and welcome to the new video and in this video I want to show you how you can extract the category names from the images for example in the previous video I have shown you how you can add these various types of images using the binary image code that is available so if you have not seen that make sure you see this because this video is a continuation of the previous video and uh, in that after adding the images once you have successfully done that let's say you know you want to add or uh, you know extract the name for example with whether it is a dog mouse this one or for example think about this you have a image of a society in which multiple objects are present like for example you have trees you have cars you have other objects and you want to you know extract those automatically so power query really helps using this ai feature called vision and with the vision you can you extract these categories so I'll show you in a second just a quick information that if you have landed very first time on my channel then you should know about this Google Sheet Power BI video tutorial which I the link is in the description here you can come and search any of my videos right and the uh, title is present here and the link of this video is present in column B that way searching of any of my video related to Power BI becomes really useful uh, the data set uh, for this is present here in the image URL and this sheet of data set is present in my data set folder which I for which I usually give the link because it contains a lot of other things. So few quick things that you should be aware of. Now let's go to the Power BI and for that I'll go to the Power Query and in the Power Query I just need to make sure that this vision is something I'm using so I'll select this and I click on the vision vision is available only with the premium licenses so you need to make sure that you have a premium license also there is a you need to make sure that you are not uh, basically using any of your organizational images with the uh, public domain sort of a feature so either you have a clear guidance from your IT department that uh, you are it is safe to do run this algorithm if you are not sure and you are using organizational images then I suggest you don't do this so you have this tag images right you want to extract the tags that is related to the image and after selecting this it will ask you to select the column column is nothing but the image URL right when you click OK that's about it that's all you need to do to make sure that this is what is needed and a custom function is added over here which basically helps you to uh, which which is nothing but taking the name of this column and then generate the new features for you so very very interesting and very very useful right if you see now from this it has it is basically giving you right now the error so error is uh, invalid string represent a base 64 uh, representation of image is expected so it is basically not taking it as a proper image uh, so what I can do I can do one more thing I have uh, one more thing Kaggle images data set right uh, that there also we can extract some images so for example he, here you have uh, bikes let's say so like I did the search you also did do the same search you have this image right so right click copy image address so what I'm doing is I'm simply copying the image address and I'm going to my folder where I have this sheet uh, image URLs and in the image URLs I will just create one more sheet for you to see the space call it images control V right now the only problem with this is if it changes it creates an issue but for now for this example I'll just go and uh, choose this one I'll select couple of maybe five then we should be good right click uh, not the copy image copy image address um, go to the sheet right uh, I just have to do it a couple of times so you if you want you can pause and do it on your own and uh, follow me right click copy image address third um, fourth copy image 
this paste, not the paste. I did the wrong thing. Image address and delete this, paste it. Again, the last one, maybe five is I think fine. Just so that we know this copy images. This is nothing but you know various ways you train the uh, algorithm. So again, I should have taken the image address rather than this paste save and close okay so what i'll do is i'll just now try to see um over here i will right click uh, maybe i can say excel workbook and image urls and this time i take the sheet two okay so it will give me in couple of seconds the option to choose the sheet two click OK, come back to Power Query, uh, it will take a couple of seconds, yep, there you go, and then use first row as headers, now we have this, right, now what we can do is we can again click on the vision, and the vision, I should again do the same procedure to get the relevant output, so let's see, this time it should give, I remember this because I did it a couple of days back for some other project, and it was giving me the perfect output so with the earlier image basically what it was expecting is is based a proper image rather than that b64 unicode so tag images and in the tag images let me just choose the function all right i'll uh, just wait for it there you go images language is okay and i'll click okay and let's see what output it gives hopefully you know we should get the right output and then we should get it so what it is doing in the back end doing going there interpreting it extracting it by running the algorithm and then finally producing the output something that for which you need to write at least some 20 to 25 uh uh, lines long program using the vision the computer vision programming okay in this case you can see with this proper uh, bmp image earlier we were having the unique that unicode address or it's basically the binary address but here we are providing the proper image so it is giving us the image output what it has is the grass outdoor house it, it has not recognized bicycle over here but it has recognized bicycle over here, tree and park, right? So, the images dot tag, bicycle, outdoor. What it identifies highest is it will give confidence level. It is also giving you. And then you can click on close and apply, right? Once you click on close and apply, it will come here in the front end. And then we can see the sheet two also to get the desired output. So I'll show you how you can bring the sheet to as well, uh, the images and uh, the relevant category and category is also useful uh, where, you know, you can select the category and get the desired output like a slicer or something, right? So it becomes, the life becomes really easy for special place cases like this where you need to extract the tags, you know. So now it is, you can see the AI functions are basically running. And uh, that's why it is taking a little bit of time to provide the entire output in the front end model. So let's see, wait for a couple of seconds. If you want, you can skip for a couple of seconds and hopefully it should, should be able to catch up. All right, looks like we are done. Only thing is for the images, I just need to make sure that it is categorized as image URL. That's the thing I need to make sure and I'll come over here, select new table, select the images and you can see images are coming and I have the uh, image tags which I can get it, right? And I can even select this, what it is showing, right? That way you can see the image size is pretty much the same because uh, of the I think carefully how it was taken or processed and then we are seeing the relevant output also you can what you can do is 
you can uh, you have these images and in these images I'll just put it here and close this and in the slicer I see the tag and I see ground so anywhere it is where the ground is house outdoor park tree grass bicycle it becomes really really easy because you are now working with a fully functional like a data set rather than just images so they are linked and they are it will be they will be give you the right information so that is something i wanted to show you how you can do that and uh, get the desired output now the only thing which you may be wondering what do you need to do with that well if your um, if your desired outcome is to only get the tags then i suggest you get a proper images sort of a url not this yeah, binary URL. This is a binary URL. That's why it is getting an uh, invalid, basically output. But if you have a proper images URL, like in this case, then you get the desired input. Also, uh, if your our desired output is to just to show images, then binary URL is good. But if you want both, then what you can do is you can like this in this case, right? What you need to do is add a custom column. So, for example, you come over here, add custom column, and uh, this is a BMP image. So, if I just expand that, you will see that it is ending with the extension called BMP. And uh, let me try to add one column, custom column, and see. So, from this, we will create a binary, basically. So, let's call it binary underscore BMP okay and uh, the formula for this is basically binary dot to text binary to text and then in the binary the only another challenge that we may get is we are bringing it as a text not as an image so this function will also not work so it will work this binary dot text will going to work only when you have proper images coming from the data set in the data set it should basically save it as a image which internally come here as a binary and then you can do that so because i don't have it right now i'm not able to get it but if you have images in your data set then you will basically need to run that function binary dot to text and get the desired output you will find couple of examples if you are dealing with that on the google search because that's where even I looked at it back in the day when I needed it. So with that, thank you so much and I'll meet you in the new video, the new topic.